Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I will be doing the top five books to read by the fire. Ginger is Laney started Top Five Wednesdays and I'll leave all the information somewhere below and these are going to be books that I've mentioned before. The first book is no surprise to anybody and it's Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone by JK Rowling and you could read any of these books by the fire. It's just a type of book to read at this time of year if you have a fire. I don't have a fire, I have an electric thing that tries to resemble fire but doesn't so there you go. Merry Christmas. I'm just going to say it because I've mentioned it already and I can put it back on my shelf and that is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, the original book to read by the fire. Again, no fire. No fire. Why would you want to read books by a fire? Here's, here is a scenario for you about why you should not read books by a fire. You're there. You've wrapped yourself up in a blanket. You're having one of those cosy days. You've perhaps got a hot chocolate in one hand and your book in the other with your little jewelled bookmark in it. And you're walking along and you're all wrapped up and you're all cosy and you're really enjoying yourself. Well, you trip over. There's a fire right there. Your book goes in it. Those pages are going to burn, whether or not. It's a cosy, cosy day. It doesn't matter. You're going to lose your book to the fire. Don't read books by fire. Don't have fire anywhere near books. It's the same reason I've ruined my copy of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I had it by a cup of tea. You should read these things in a room on your own with gloves. Anyway, you can do that with a Christmas carol if you like. Next we have The Miniaturist by Jessie Burton. This story follows Nala who is sent to marry Johan and there is this whole mystery of her getting a miniature doll's house sent to her but the things inside the house seem to be mimicking the events of things that are happening within the house and it's a it's a very dark intriguing mystery and uh, it was one of my most anticipated books of 2014. I finally read it this year and I think that it's fantastic and everybody should read it. It's historical fiction, it's set during winter and it's just the type of thing that people should be reading at this time of year. Next, because I do think that children's books are the cosiest type of fiction we have, I chose The Girl Who Circumnavigated Fairyland in a Ship of Her Own Making by Catherine M. Valente. And everyone knows about this book already. Everybody's probably already talking about this book and why it's one of the best books to read. And if they're not, I don't know what the problem is. And because I'm Charlie and I like this author and I mentioned it in about every 5,000 videos, it's The Lollipop Shoes by Joanne Harris. And it's set at Christmas time. There's chocolate involved and there's magic involved. And really, it's just the sort of thing you need to have a good time at Christmas by a fire. By a fire. I mean, I'm fine if you're spending Christmas by an electric fire or a gas fire, even, you know, just stand by your oven. Just don't be cooking your books in the flames. That's all I've got to say about that. And until next time, that is all.